In this video, I'm going to talk about why I started this channel. So the reason why I started this channel was to talk about space accounting. And when I talk about space accounting, what I'm referring to is how we're going to do accounting when humanity is regularly traveling, working, and playing in space. Now let me start by giving you some background here. A little over a year ago, I developed a financial equation. And this financial equation I call the theory of credit markets. And I was so excited about this equation that I wanted to share it with all of you. And so I wrote a book. And the book is On Wolves and Finance. And that's where I got the name for my channel, Wolves and Finance. And in this book, I talk about that equation. And I've actually made another YouTube video with a summary of this book. And I'm going to leave the description for that in a link down below. So go ahead and check that out if you haven't seen that video already. Um, this book is available for purchase on Amazon. So if you haven't gotten the book yet, go ahead and go to Amazon and get the book. Now, there's a lot of different applications for this financial equation. But the application that I spend most of my research time on is space accounting. So when I talk about space accounting, what I'm talking about is there is a, a theoretical problem in accounting that nobody is talking about. And here is the problem. I want you to imagine for a moment that there is a fleet of spaceships traveling throughout the galaxy. So you have all of these different spaceships and they're traveling in different directions at different speeds. Now let's say you own a business that is operating on these spaceships. Let's say it's a cleaning business. So you have people on all of these different spaceships that are cleaning the spaceships. And your cleaners are, uh, have a certain rate of productivity. So they're cleaning at a certain number of square feet per hour. Now, we know from Einstein's theory of relativity that objects in motion experience warping in space and time. Well, <laughs> that presents a problem for your business because if your definitions of square feet and hours are relative uh, compared to all of the different spaceships in this fleet, you have a problem. And the problem is that we as accountants have to roll up a set of financial statements every quarter. And it becomes very difficult to roll up all of these different financial statements from all these different ships into one overall company financial statement if your definition of uh, square feet and hours or space and time is relative. It becomes an impossible problem. Now, I'm not trying to be a physicist here, nor do I want to be. <laughs> what I am is an expert in corporate accounting. And so I care about things like money and investing and strategic decisions and above all else, productivity. And all of the financial systems that I have worked under, all the different accounting systems, they can't solve this problem. And it's understandable because we've never had to deal with these kinds of situations before. But if we're going to start to travel into space, we need to open our minds and think differently and think from a different perspective about how we do accounting on a very fundamental level. Now, <laughs> at this point you might say, Zach, what are you talking about? <laughs> Who cares about this? It's not like we're about to have this fleet of ships with cleaners on it in, this, in space. So why do we even care? And my response to you is, we're not that far away. If you look at any space news out there, what people are talking about right now is sending people to Mars. And so what this entails is that people are going to get on this spaceship. It's going to travel through space for six months and get to Mars where they're going to set up a colony on a different planet. We are about to become an interplanetary species. Think about that. 
Now, let's put our business hats on for a minute. What is the problem with this scenario? <laughs> the problem that I see is that, you know, if I look at the people around me, none of these people are going to want to get on this spaceship for six months unless there's a McDonald's on board. I mean, let's get real here. People like to eat hamburgers. And if people get to Mars and there's no hamburgers, people are going to get cranky. Now, <laughs> if you don't like McDonald's, you can substitute another restaurant in there. I'm just using it as an example. But my point is that businesses are going to be important partners in making this project a reality. So let's just say, for the sake of this example, that there's a McDonald's on board the spaceship. All right, <laughs> we've just created a problem. Now, we all know that McDonald's is traded on the New York Stock Exchange. And the SEC requires that McDonald's produces a quarterly set of financial statements. Now, in order to do this, McDonald's has to roll up the financial statements for all of their restaurants into an overall company-wide set of financial statements. Now, <laughs> how are they going to do this when one of their restaurants is on this spaceship experiencing a warping of space and time relative to all the other restaurants on the surface of the planet Earth. <laughs> this presents a big problem. Not only that, how are they going to audit the financials of this restaurant that is hurtling through outer space? I think you can start to see how quickly our accounting systems and our capital markets start to break down. Now, <laughs> the solution for this is actually pretty simple. What we need to do is we need to apply Einstein's theory of relativity to the process of how we generate financial statements and company annual reports. And it drives me crazy that more people aren't tackling the problems of space accounting. It is crazy to me that the SEC is not worried about space accounting. It is crazy to me that the big four accounting firms have not yet set up departments dedicated to space accounting. My point here is that accountants have a crucial role to play in the future exploration of space. So if you want to know more about space accounting, you can check out my book. It's on Amazon. And if you are excited about space accounting, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And if you disagree with me and you think that I'm crazy, <laughs> leave a comment down below too. I want to know what you think. If you like this video, click on the subscribe button down below. I release a new video every week on accounting and corporate finance, so come back and check out next week's video.